हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल गो थ्रू वन ऑफ द रिसर्च पेपर विच इज बजट पेसिंग फॉर टारगेटेड ऑनलाइन एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स एट लिंक इन दिस वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड पेपर आई केम अक्रॉस uh which is related to ad tech which is the world of advertisements and what i have done is i have added some diagrams some text highlighted uh relevant context so that it's easier for me to explain and after going through this paper you won't be just be able to understand what this paper is about but also uh get to know a lot about advertisement world which is the ad tech so let's get started so uh the ad tech there are two type of entities one is the advertiser other and second is the publisher who are advertiser and advertiser is a person or organization that creates and pays for advertisements to promote their product services or brand so they have their product services or brands that they want to promote so that that they want to advertise and while on the other hand publisher is a person or organization that owns or manages a platform such as website app or media outlet where advertisements can be displayed so uh, some of the websites may be very popular blogs may be very popular and in the left right top there may be some free space where ads can be displayed so they want to monetize their spaces or slots uh, for advertisers to so their content now there will be many advertisers and the publisher will get paid according to the uh, type of auction mechanism which can be cost per click or they may get uh, uh, paid for 1000 views which is cpm or they may get uh, paid for something like conversion like cost per order or cost per lead something of that sort so there can be different auction mechanism they will get paid uh, accordingly now different advertisers will compete for these slots they will bid for these slots and the one which pays the maximum will win the slot and depending on the auction mechanism as i was just telling about they will have to pay now what is the problem that if the advertiser is paying too much and definitely he will have a limited budget right then if he is paying too much he is paying unnecessarily and his budget will get exhausted fast and if if he is paying too low then what will happen he may not win the auction at all that is he may not get the slots at all so what we want is a good trade off between the right amount to bid and as well as they get uh, the advertiser gets the right roi and also the publisher who is willing to show the advertisements also uh, gets good revenue and as well as the users who come to the publisher's website they don't have uh, relevance drop they also uh, have good relevance uh, because of the advertisements that are shown it shouldn't happen that the advertisements are so bad that there is a relevance drop or uh user interest drop from the publisher's website so we want to um balance between the advertiser's metrics the publisher metrics as well as the user's metrics uh and there is also the paper is about uh, targeted online advertisements what are targeted ads targeted advertisements enable advertisers to reach their intended audience based on demographic geographic or um psychographic characteristics so it can happen that the advertiser uh is advertising a game which may be more popular across teens so they would like their advertiser advertisements to reach to this kind of teenage audience right so targeted or advertisements can target people based on age gender geog geography demographics and so on so uh so we have understood till now what uh, how the ad tech world wor works there is advertiser who bids there is a publisher who is willing to so ads on their website in the um uh in the hope of getting the revenue which is they want to monetize their website slots uh, and so on advertiser wants to show the advertisements and um uh, and targeted advertisement means where the advertiser also have flexibility to target a particular type of audience and if the bid is too high then budget will get exhausted fast and if his bid is too low then he may not the advertiser may not win the auction as, at, at all now there is another concept of budget pacing that is uh, as i was saying the budget if the bid is too high then budget will get exhausted for fast and if it's too low he may not win the auction how, how should that budget be paced in order to maximize the uh, roi for the advertiser so that is the budget pacing and in this paper linkedin has introduced an awesome methodology to do that budget pacing in order to maximize advertiser roi also it helps the publisher by maximizing their revenue and monetize their website and as well as the user relevance increases we'll see all of that so let's get started i will also add the link of the paper in the description section uh targeted online advertising is a primary source of revenue for many internet companies 
इन ए ग्रीडी मैकेनिज्म हाई परफॉर्मिंग एडवर्टाइजर्स टेंड टू ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ द ऑक्शन मार्केट प्लेस फास्ट एंड दैट एडवर्सली अफेक्ट बोथ एडवर्टाइजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड द पब्लिसर रेवेन्यू सो इन ए ग्रीडी मैकेनिज्म वट विल हैपन द गुड एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स दे विल बी शोन एंड दे विल फास्ट एक्सॉस्ट देयर बजट एंड दे विल बी गॉन एंड द कंपिटिशन विल रिड्यूस इन द लेटर हाफ ऑफ द डे विच विल लीड टू बैड यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल एज लेसर रेवेन्यू फॉर द प्लेटफॉर्म एंड ऑल्सो एडवर्टाइजर नॉट गेटिंग द बेस्ट आर ओबी इफ देयर प्रोडक्ट वॉज कैप्ट लॉन्गर फॉर द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ द डे ऑल्सो मोर टाइप ऑफ यूजर्स माइट हैव कम एंड इंटरेक्टेड सो इट्स ए लॉस फॉर ऑल ऑफ द पीपल मेंबर्स आर डिस्क्राइब्ड बाई देयर profile which may include demographic attributes geographic attributes age gender etc so that the advertiser can target their advertisements on the basis of these factors advertisers may target a segment of users is specified by a combination of attributes advertisers create a campaign so so when they promote a product they create a campaign are required to set up a campaign by specifying creatives the target member they want to target the bid value and the daily budget that how much they are willing to spend now they are uh, in the introduction section they are also telling the problems campaign that perform well often use up their budget very fast and drop out of the marketplace early in the day leading to lesser competition and lesser revenue in the second half of the day as the campaigns drop out the competition in the marketplace reduces in second price auction mechanism uh, further reduce competition results in reduced revenue so in second price auction mechanism what happens is uh, the winner pays an amount as expected revenue from the impression equals that of the second highest ad let's see again what happens in second price auction the winner pays an amount so that the expected revenue from the impression equals the second highest ad so in uh, second price auction the winner doesn't pay the amount they bid but the amount that is equal uh, to uh, come at the second slot and second one pays the third slot and so on so uh, because of the second price auction as well as reduced competition the revenue reduces in the second half of the day there is another problem of over delivery uh, which let's understand it the ad serving infrastructure may have a delay in the availability of latest spend information and campaigns spending budget fast may exceed its budget this results in over delivery to campaigns which is essentially a loss of monetization opportunity so what happens when the budget is getting exhausted fast and the budget is let's say of one of the advertiser of 100 rupees even the, after 100 rupees is spent it may take some time for the ad serving Infrastructure to say, to tell that okay the budget is over now. By the time till then it would have already spent let's say hundred five rupees. That five rupees is like a monetization opportunity loss because our advertiser didn't pay it but got the benefit of it. So it's a uh, monetization opportunity loss and free money that the uh, the publisher has to uh, give to the advertiser. In this case, it's LinkedIn. So they LinkedIn also wants to reduce that over delivery. How it will be reduced because if budget is slowed down if if it's paced. then there is there are more chances then over delivery will be reduced the budget pacing algorithm aims to spread out the impressions to every campaign evenly over the budget day so what budget pacing will do it will not let the campaign budget uh, get exhausted fast it will spread it out depending on the impressions the campaign is uh, forecasted to get throughout the day we will understand it in more details so what they do is the main idea is we serve impressions by being aware of the global tra traffic patterns for each campaign we obtain a forecast of the traffic pattern uh, of eligible impressions during the day based on the forecast we determine an allocation plan in which we allocate the spending of the budget of the campaign proportional to the forecasted eligible traffic at run time we monitor the spend of each ad closely and for campaigns that spend faster than the allocation plan we throttle them and do not allow them to participate in some auctions so what they do is they forecast the demand when the good demand of that a campaign will come let's say 12 pm so it, they won't let the campaign exhaust budget before that they will save the budget for that time and how they will save it the uh, campaigns which are spending very fast and they see that okay for this allocated time the spent is more than the allocation then they will throttle it throttle means uh, throttle basically means that not letting campaigns participate in the auction they uh, uh, stopping and then starting stopping and starting the campaign is what throttling is so they are not letting some of the campaigns which are very fast spending to uh waste their clicks at uh, early stage but saving and saving them for the later half of the day now one question may definitely come that uh, one question can definitely come let let the uh, spend be in a greedy fashion let the campaign exhaust all its budget but why are why do we want to pay it the reason they told is that uh many advertisers since they get a more diverse audience 
this improves revenue metrics as campaign stay alive for longer and provides higher support for other campaigns in the GSP options. So we'll understand it and as well as one more thing, the algorithm slows down the spending rate of the campaign that is spent faster than the plan, it increases the lifetime of the campaign. So lifetime of the campaign has increased and what has happened because of that, the advertiser is getting a more diverse audience. So let me explain, there may be some people who are early risers, some people who uh, wake up late, there may be school going kids, there may be office going uh, people, there may be housewives and so on. So there are different type of people. If the campaign stays longer, it will get introduced to more diverse audience and it's seen that when a campaign is uh, uh, alive for longer amount of time, it performs the best and as well as the second half of the, of the day when competition was getting bad, this type of campaigns are providing support to other campaigns also because they are good campaigns. This mix of good and bad campaigns is maintaining the user relevance and not letting it drop significantly. So that is what they have told, it provides higher support to other campaigns as well. And members visiting LinkedIn.coms uh, are served ad impression. So LinkedIn users are the uh, advertiser uh, watcher and uh, the advertiser pay LinkedIn on the base of CPM or CPC. CPM means cost per thousand views or CPC means cost as per the click. Uh, for every click, they have to pay. That is for every click, uh, as per the bid, the advertiser, if they win it, they pay accordingly. And targeting is done on the base of industry, company, education, professional skills and so on, which are already present in the LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has this rich diverse data, which helps advertiser to uh, targets uh, people uh, based on these attributes. That's why advertisers advertise on LinkedIn. And uh, LinkedIn has two different type of advertising products. One is direct ads and other is sponsored status update SSU. In direct ads, uh, the advertisements appear on many pages within the LinkedIn.com dom domain that, uh, that is the top and side panels of the home page, the profile page, the contact page and direct ads also appears on uh, only appears on the desktop environment. So they are not appearing on the mobile and tablet environment while sponsored status updates are a type of advertisements which appear on desktop as well as mobile and as well as tablet environment. So SSU type of advertisement product, uh, if advertiser advertise on this product, it will be appearing in all the three desktop, mobile and tablet environment while direct ads will only appear in the desktop environment. Next is the literature survey uh, topic of the paper where LinkedIn has compared their methodology with other methodologies and told how it's different. So uh, one thing that LinkedIn has told is that budget pacing can be done in two ways and it's a industry practice as well that budget pacing can be done in two ways. One is through bid modification that is if the spending is very high what you can do is you can reduce your bid right, reduce your CPC. You can start bidding lesser. That is the bid modification way. Second is throttling. That is uh, if the campaign is spending very fast, instead of uh, not changing the bid, but throttling the campaign, not uh, letting campaign participate in the auction for some time and then again making, making it uh, participate. So start, stop, start, stop kind of thing is throttling. So uh, budget pacing can be done in two ways, bid modification and uh, throttling. LinkedIn told that they have gone through some of the papers on bid modification and why they didn't go ahead with uh, bid modification is that there is a concept of reserve price which says that campaigns have to bid at least that much to be eligible to participate in the auction at all. So with bid modification when you reduce the bid, uh, having a reserve price restricts how low the bid amount can be and hence this technique might not help in increasing the life of the campaign. So there is a reserve price that at least this much has to be uh, bid and if they reduce the bid they get limited by this reserve price. That's why instead of going with the reserve price where the campaign won't be eligible for the auction at all, they went ahead with the throttling piece where they see that if campaign is spending very fast they throttle it and keep the bid value same. Now coming to the pacing algorithm, how the pacing algorithm was uh, designed. Uh, so they divide the daily budget into T time segments and for each T time segments, the forecast is done for the eligible impressions for that campaign during the time window F i smaller t. So for each smaller time window, they will have a forecast and they allocate the budget accordingly. So for that time window, what is the forecast divided by total? forecast of the day and that much of the budget will be allocated for 
uh, every small t time interval which uh, so they have divided into equal capital t time interval where each time interval they are calling is small t now here is where the throttling algorithm is there and the throttling magic how it happens they have explained here f i capital t is the forecasted total volume of eligible impressions for campaign i for the entire day we apply a filter during each ad auction for each eligible auction a campaign is allowed to participate with a probability p i small t the pass through rate so for each smaller time window they are uh, defining a uh, probability which is pass through rate and how the probability uh, is defined is the probability of the last time window into 1 plus rt and this value will be uh, will can be maximum of this or 1 similarly it will be uh, p i t minus 1 into 1 minus r t or 0 minimum of this or 0 uh, when these conditions are met so let's see it again if the spending curve s i t is the spending curve if spending curve is less than the allocated curve so let's say you are allowed to spend 30 rupees but you are already only able to spend 20 rupees what does that mean that means you are a slow campaign you need to uh, increase this campaigns pass through rate that is you should allow this campaign to participate in more auctions so you increase the probability from the last set probability if it was 40 percent you will increase it by uh, 1 plus rt and rt is constant 10 percent so you will increase it by further 10 percent so 40 percent will become 10 percent increase it will become 44 percent if the spending curve is less than the allocated curve and if the spending curve is more than the allocated curve you will reduce the probability how much by rt which is again 10 percent so you will reduce the 40 percent to uh, reduce by 10 percent which will become around 36 percent so in this way the pit is modified and as rt as i was telling it's an adjustment rate they go with a constant adjustment rate of 10 percent they have explained why it's constant we will go through it as well but now we have understood this uh, mathematics of the uh, throttling that is campaign is not completely throttled it's still allowed but for lesser number of auctions that is the pass through rates a, a, a campaign which has a pass through rate of 100% means it's allowed to bid in all the auctions while a campaign with 20% uh, pass through rate is only allowed to participate in 20% of the auctions. Now they have also compared in the literature survey that the one that is based on bid modification there also the mathematics uh, looks something like this where the bid modified depends on the previous bid and uh, this function where this function is 1 minus e to the power x minus 1 and x here is uh, the spending curve divided by the total budget. Let me explain this formula as well. Uh, so, let us say um, the spending was 10 rupees and total budget was 100. In that case, the bid will be modified as bi into 0 0.69 if you do the mathematics. And if spending was 90, your bid will be bid into 0 0.09 which is 0 0.01 you can say. So, what is happening here? If the spending is low and the total budget is high, we are increasing the uh, bid as in relatively this 0 0.6 is more than 0 0.01 right so as the spending is close to the total budget we re start reducing the bid and when the spending is lower and there is lot of gap with the total budget then bid, bid is higher so what that means is that in uh, bid modification in bid modification this is the formula but they haven't done bid modification we have already discussed in section 1.1 why we use probabilistic throttling instead of bid modification because there is a concept of reserve price which doesn't let uh, a campaign participate in an auction if its bid is lower than a particular uh, threshold which is the reserve price that's why they didn't go ahead with uh, bid modification they get restricted by this reserve price they go they went ahead with the pass through rate which is the throttling with throttling way the value of current time window is set as a small perturbation of the value at the previous time window we observe remarkable good result with this approach so they are saying they change the pass through rate depending uh, uh, by modifying the last pass through rate and doing this they observe remarkable results few more details about the uh, algorithm update frequency we update ptr for each campaign at one minute interval the frequent this frequent updating makes the system agile and reach a steady state. So, they have a very good system in place. They have a very scalable and low latency system in place, which is able to pace the campaign at every one minute interval, which is like super fast. And forecasting, as the allocated budget is based on the forecasting for that time window, forecasting is the number of eligible impressions for campaign, plays an important role in our algorithm. Inaccurate forecast may cause unnecessary throttling and may result in budget non being 
used and for some good campaign so that forecasting has to be very accurate we maintain a large list of important member segments called the base profile so they have explained they have some uh, good uh, profiles of members who are very regular they call them base profile and they ensure that their forecasting is very accurate at least for them so better the forecasting better will be the throttling if forecasting is inaccurate in it may result in unnecessary throttling and the budget may not be used for good campaigns which can hamper uh, the advertisers roi as well as publishers revenue a few more details adjustment rate so we have already seen this adjustment in rt which was fixed at constant 10 percent now why constant 10 percent a more theoretical sound algorithm may involve derivative of spend with respect to time right if the spending is very fast then we need to slow it down so r can be a factor of change in spending with respect to time right so something like more complicated or more sophisticated like uh, r can be a factor of derivative of uh, spending with respect to time right but they went ahead with a simple approach of constant rt because of two reasons one is uh, the derivative of s with respect to time can be very noisy secondly they adjust the ptr very frequently in every one minute so they don't have to have a very accurate uh, um, value of rt because anyways the update happens every one minute and the things will convert so second we adjust the ptr frequently and even if we are not at the ideal ptr which is the pass through rate at any time point we can reach there fast so that's why they don't go ahead with any sophisticated approach and they went ahead with a simple adjustment rate of 10 percent next is slow start they start with a ptr pass through rate of 10 percent for all campaigns this is what they call slow start the advantage of starting low is that uh, it gives system the time to learn about individual campaigns if the campaign is spending its budget too slow anyways it can open up in 25 minutes right why 25 minutes because they start with 10 percent ptr and we know it that if the spending is very slow we will increase the probability by 10 10 percent right so in 24 minutes it will be 98 percent and in 25 minutes it will cross 100 percent so in 25 minutes a slow spending campaign can totally open up but on the other hand, if a campaign is spending too fast, then having a 10% pass through rate to start with gives the system more time to reach the correct PTR. So such campaigns starting from a high PTR may result in using up the budget before the system learns that it needs to set a low PTR. So that's a very good point. Some campaigns may be very fast exhausting campaigns. They can maybe exhaust within 25 minutes. So the system will not get any time to correct itself. That's why starting with a slow start helps this fast spending campaigns to be in control and slow ones anyways in 25 minutes it will it can open completely the pass through rate can be 100 percent if it's a uh, slow spending campaign so it's sensible to customize the starting value of ptr for individual campaigns in future they may think of customizing it but for now they went ahead with a simple approach next concept is fast finish <coughs> The next concept is of fast finish so what they do is that uh, they pace the algorithm so that the budget can be exhausted within 22 hours and the last two hours they don't do any throttling this will ensure that uh, there is no revenue loss because of throttling at last two hours they let all the campaigns participate in the auction so that their total budget can be utilized so there is minimal revenue loss engineering design so they have very good engineering system which can throttle uh, the campaigns in one minute so uh, the ad serving system data on advertiser events and member events continuously flow through a tracking pipeline so the advertiser data and as well as the user data that which they interacted where they clicked and so on uh, flows through a tracking pipeline you can see these two boxes advertiser events may include creation of a new campaign or any modification of existing one like change in bid or daily budget user events can include page views that result in ad request or opportunity and so on in so uh, so so they have these events coming up and uh, which goes to a database and the throttling layer the uh, the ad server throttles it every one minute right and uh, user events include member page views and resulted in ad request or opportunity ad impression served and user actions like click or share all these are uh, fl all these flows now they update the ptr for campaign at every one minute on average right so how are they able to do uh, this how they are able to do this very fast in very low latency 
the the magic happens because the updates are randomly distributed across campaigns within each minute instead of updating all campaigns at once every one minute they update roughly 12% of campaigns every 7 seconds so 60 seconds divided by 7 these many updates will happen and in every update 12 12% of the campaigns will get updated and so in a minute all 100% will be updated right so this trick they use instead of updating all campaigns at every one minute we update roughly 12% of all campaigns every 7 seconds this updating frequency allows the system to reach a steady state fast and evenly spread out the server load so this is the uh, main idea how the engineering system is very effective and able to load balance. Now coming to the experimental design, they ran an online experiment. In a typical A-B testing kind of setting, con there are two controls A and B. Control A is uh, given some treatment and control B is given some treatment and we can see the difference in the matrix. But this experiment is not a user level experiment, it is a campaign level experiment, right? Whether even if we differentiate the user into A and B, the campaigns are common. So, it is not a user level experiment, it is a campaign level experiment. So, what they did was, how they experimented it was, in order to observe the full benefit of the algorithm, it needs to be turned on for all campaigns for the entire day. So, they designed an experiment which ran for at least two weeks and the experiment, how it worked? The experiment was uh, turned on and off on alternate days. Uh, by running the experiment for at least two weeks, we are able to estimate the benefits of pacing algorithms and control for any day specific bias and weakness seasonality that may be present in the system. So, they turned on and off. So, pacing was done on one day, on on Monday and off on Tuesday, on on Wednesday, off on Thursday. In this way, they did it for two weeks and then they uh, noted down the results. They have explained there could have been one more way that what they could have done, they could have uh, uh, another way to run an experiment to determine the effects of pacing would be one where we create two independent ad serving system and put all the ad campaigns in both the system with half of the daily budget. So, they can create two ad serving system. All the campaigns will be there in both the ad serving system with 50-50% of the budget allocated. In one the pacing will happen, other the pacing won't happen and we can see that which of the two ad server had better performance. So, that is another way of doing the experiment but they didn't do that way, they did on alternate days, the one day budget pacing on, other day budget pacing off, on, off, on, off and for uh, two weeks they were able to take care of any weekday or weekend kind of bias and uh, get uh, more uh, sustainable results. So, now let us look at the results. Uh, before results, like, let us also look at the matrix of importance. They have very good matrix defines. They have defined the matrix for all the three players, advertiser, publisher and user. For advertiser, the campaign lifetime, the time taken to exhaust 95% of the budget for a campaign was measured. Unique impression per spend, that is how many unique members were viewing the uh, ad compared to the before way. So, unique member viewing an ad over the budget spent for the ad. Third is number of campaign served, the total number of ad campaign that were served on a day. So, basically if you are pacing, you are slowing down some campaigns, other campaigns will get the visibility, right? So, on an average, how many uh, total number of ad campaigns were served on a day? These are the advertiser metrics, publisher centric metrics, which are LinkedIn centric metrics, cost per request, which is directly a proxy of total revenue the LinkedIn made, over delivery, we saw that because of uh, faster spend what was happening, happening, LinkedIn was able to stop the campaign uh, slightly later after its budget has exhausted, has exhausted, which they call over delivery, which is a waste of money and kind of free clicks for the advertiser, how much over delivery they were able to reduce. And member, that is user specific matrix, they looked at unique campaign served, the average number of unique ad campaign the user viewed. So, more the unique number of uh, campaigns the member viewed, they have told it is a measure of diversity and it it stands for the user relevance, more the diverse type of ads they see, more uh, more uh, relevant the feed is. So, uh, as we saw there are two type of products, in the first product which is direct ads, the campaign runtime increased from 13.54 hours to 19.5 hours, which is almost 6 hours increase unique impression per second, which is how many unique users say advertiser got. So, it is a good thing for uh, advertiser, right, if they are getting more type of users. So, unique impressions per spend is 7.74 percent, that is advertiser product is being seen by more distinct type of users. Number of campaigns served increased to 4.74 percent, more campaigns got visibility and publisher uh, related metrics, the revenue increased by 5.67 percent and over delivery reduced from 3.8 to 3.4 percent and also unique campaign served the user was able to see more unique type of campaigns which is slightly positive 
and uh, they have also shown this curve which is revenue and time previously the, the dotted uh, line is pacing off when uh, pacing was off more revenue was coming in the first half and second half the uh, revenue reduced because competition reduced now what happened it, the balancing effect happened uh, the revenue reduced in the first half and more revenue came in the second half which uh, overall which uh, if you can see the it was 5.67 percent higher for the other product which is uh, SSU, there the campaign lifetime even increased further, which SSU are shown on both tablet, mobile and desktop from 6.92 to 17.25, like good increase, very good increase in campaign lifetime in terms of hours. Uh, more users got the uh, visibility, advertiser got more unique users, number of campaigns served also increased, publisher revenue also increased, over delivery reduced by almost 2%, 4.12 to 2.39 and unique campaign served was kind of neutral. Uh, the campaign runtime for SSU increased 149% com compared to direct ads. So, which is a huge increase and the results are super positive and we can conclude the result. Uh, we can conclude everything actually. The budget pacing algorithm, uh, you evenly distributed the spend of advertising campaigns in the day and uh, it's deployed in advertising products at LinkedIn. It was fully scaled. The algorithm helped advertiser experience as well as revenue benefits for the LinkedIn at the same time. So we can also conclude the overall all the pointers. So budget pacing was deployed and scaled for LinkedIn. Why is budget pacing needed in the first place? Because competition gets bad in the second half of the day, resulting in, resulting in less revenue for publishers as well as not so good experience for user and also advertiser not getting their ads exposed to the best audience and hence not getting the right ROI. That's why budget pacing is needed to spread out the campaign budget throughout the day. And why was throttling chosen over bid modification? Bid modification gets limited by the reserve price. That's why uh, instead of going with bid modification, they went ahead with the throttling piece. Why they implemented a simple algorithm like, like simple adjustment rate of 10% and slow start and so on? Because the correction layer is very fast. It corrects itself in one minute. The correction layer corrects for slow start and fast spend due to faster updates of one minute. And what are the results? Advertiser gain, campaign runtime increased. The campaign was exposed to more distinct users, more campaign got visibility, LinkedIn gains were more revenue churned and relevance got better in the second half of the day. So less user churned and user gains better relevance for user as they got exposed to more diverse campaigns and also since relevance got better in the second half of the day, there will be lesser user churns. So that's it. In this video, we looked at uh, one of the papers of LinkedIn, which is budget pacing for targeted online advertisements. We understood the ad tech world, advertiser, publisher, uh, budget pacing through bit throttling modification and how this uh, algorithm was designed by LinkedIn and as well as their engineering pieces. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more such updates and see you in the next one. Bye.